Hey Hart, I just wanted to show you my new Unun, or Union. I forgot, I invented a word, Union. Y-O-O-N, Y-O-O-N. Anyway, this one's a little different. The one I gave you is an FT-240-43, right? And the one I was left with was an FT-140-43, <clears throat> which is fine, but sometimes I do like to run 100 watts, and if you get into a rag shoe, that one's going to overheat. Uh, you can run 50 watts all day long, but yeah. So what I did was I glued two of the FT-140-43 cores together and rewound it. Somebody left a comment or sent me an email and asked how I wind them. So I figured I'd show you art. And if anybody else wants to see, uh, here, let me zoom out. This video is going to get a little bit seasickish. Well, I guess we're zoomed out. I, Art, you told me how you were working on your bedroom lab. As have I been. Just getting started. Uh, got a... Let me tell you a tale of two switches. Let me find uh, some to point with. This is my problem. I'm going to zoom in on that. I'm going to pause this again. Hang on. See that? Look at look at the handle, the bat on that switch. Does that look straight? No. That switch is straight up and down. If you flip that bat, it moves straight up and down on an angle. So, hang on. We're going to have to go with this switch art. What do you think? From my college days alarm box I built. Isn't that a hoot? Hang on. Okay, this will get a little shaky at times. Uh, you have to start somewhere. So where I start is here. With that twisted pair of wires, right? And I only twist them together to hold them for me. Then, what I do, I make three turns. Three, uh, three times through the middle. And then I cut the wire. I'll twist uh, another color on right there. That's the common lead, the ground side. And I'll make three turns. And then I'll make three more. That makes six turns. Six divided by three is two. Two squared is four. That's my four to one tap. I'll put a zip tie on there. Just to hold it for me. And then I cut the wire to make it easier to handle. Continue around. Three more turns. And that's the ninth turn, which in this case, 9 divided by 3 is 3 squared is 9. 9 turns, 9 to 1. And I do the same thing over and over and over again for each of the uh, different uh, taps. <clears throat> and when I'm all done, you'll end up with the last turn. That is 21 turns on this on an which is uh, 49 to 1. I would have liked to have gone another three turns for a total of 24, which would give me uh, 64 to 1, which I have used in the past and had better results, had a better match than using the 49 to 1 um, ratio tap. But I just ran out of room on this little FT-140-43 core. This wire I'm using is actually from, uh, they're the remnants from neon fluorescent, I'm sorry, not neon, fluorescent light fixtures. Your usual cheap guy. Well, all those ballasts use the same thing. And I believe it's Teflon insulation. It's really hard or impossible to melt. And those transformers are 600 volt lining, so it, it works great for this. Um, when I'm all done, like I am now. Now I'm ready to 
what I'll do is one at a time I'll cut the zip tie off I'll leave about a quarter inch of insulation there maybe an eighth of an inch then I take my wire strippers strip it off twist them together with a pair of pliers and then solder it one at a time and that makes my my union <laughs> commonly 50 ohm input 4 to 1 9 to 1 and in my toroid I, I used a uh, this is a 12th tap 16 to 1 I chose to tap at 15 turns so I get a 25 to 1 tap again at 18 turns I get a 36 to 1 tap I found the 25 to 1 tap especially useful for uh, taking a reasonably good SWR and making it perfect or thereabouts so let's swing over here those are you can't really see that that's what I've got 4 to 1, 9 to 1, 16 to 1, 25 to 1, 36 to 1, and 49 to 1. And my last little project. Brother Art, Brother Man Art. Field Strength Meter. Now I'm going to have uh, the switch is to turn on or off an FET uh, front end amp. So Arthur, King Arthur, and anybody else that's unfortunate enough to stumble upon this, that's how I wind my multi-tap union. 73, 